So one may be thinking it's 20 past seven in the morning. Where are you and Sue going off for a walk today? Well, we're not. We are going to the gym. We did that questionnaire on the broadcast last night, what would make us a better husband and wife? And Sue said, I'm almost 99% perfect, but what would make me better is if I came to a spin class with her at half past seven in the morning. So here I am going to a spin class to make me 100% perfect. <laughs> And then Sue's going off to her mum and dad's to help her today and help them and now I'm going to walk back. Off we go. Here we are. Going past the old Flamingo swimming pool and to the gym. Where we're going to do what's called a virtual spinning class. They have all, they have loads of lessons now. That's all virtual in there so you can just come in, pick one you want and do it. Hopefully I won't die. Okay, here's our virtual um, work out, 30 minute beat ride. Oh. oh, can't hear a thing she said. So, we're just on the cool down now. I've done 10.5 kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles. There's Sue, and that's it. Got the whole place to ourselves. Oh, that was fun. Really enjoyed that. Instructor Sue just did my, my warm down stretches with me. And whew, it's about six and a half miles that we cycled today. I'm going to walk about two miles back. So it's not bad to start the day. I'm old, so I've got to work a bit harder now. Doesn't come easy to me anymore. Ah, nice class though. So here we are at 20 past eight in the morning. And Sue's dropped me off at Woodbury Lane and I've got to walk up through it. I'm not going to lie to you, my legs feel a little jellyfied. As I keep reminding Sue, bodily training is beneficial for a little. There we go. Probably um, two miles back, probably about an hour back. Might be longer with my legs. And then we got the group. All being well, I'll get back in time. I have to say though, walking in such beautiful surroundings, hearing the birds and such peace, really helps you to appreciate creation. And... Uh, Put your mind at ease, which gives you a little glimpse of what the world's going to be like. It's going to be beautiful and peaceful. So no walk is complete. I haven't said this for a while without dum 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 cows. We got cows. They're finally allowed back out in the fields. Must be dry enough. God, I felt like I haven't seen cows. Something tells me spring is definitely here. Isn't that beautiful? More on that side as well. I do love spring, because it means summer's on its way. And we'll be finishing off hopefully the southwest coast path this summer. All being well, we haven't got long left, so should be doing it. And then, oh, I think Sue wants to walk the entire England coast path, but let's get the southwest coast path done first. Anyway, three quarters of the way up uh, Woodbury Lane now, all good. Well, I'm coming up to the end of uh, Woodbury Lane and Lime Road looks busy this morning. I guess people are off to work, doing their daily things they do. And we're gonna cross here and then go through that little bridle path we were at the other day. This is a beautiful little path and the weather so far it's been good to me. Not a drop of rain, although I'm not sure we're not gonna see some later. Got across this now without getting knocked down. Here we are, made it across the road without getting knocked down, it's always a good thing. We're on the bridle path. This is always pretty, isn't it? Get, you find a fair few sort of thick pieces of wood along here normally to burn on the old uh, log burner. But I won't be collecting any today. I've not got a bag with me, but that's my view to the left as well. Isn't that lovely? It's miles and miles of fields. Here we are in good old Cook's Lane. Beautiful. Another 10 minutes and I'll be home. Time for a cup of tea and get the group going. So I forgot I'm admin on the group today, so I've got to be back in time. They're everywhere today, even in Cook's Lane. 
They're staring me out. Cool, they really are staring at me. Look at that. Anyway, we're nearly back. Six, seven minutes. I'll be having a cup of tea, I reckon. So here we are, back at the B&B. So is that one on our website? And we've got a couple of guests tonight. It's good. It allows me to boil the kettle, which probably costs about 50p these days. And have a cup of tea. Look at that, it's a robin on top of the deck in there. See it? Isn't that lovely? Anyway, that's a delivery driver in the background. Going in, a cup of tea. <laughs> 